Hey dancers, are you feeling overwhelmed in your ballet lessons because you don't understand head positioning? Do you find yourself sometimes distracted just trying to fix it? Well, don't worry because by the end of this video you are going to be fully able to understand head positioning and to find the difference between when to do it on the earth or on the dance. So let's begin by drawing an imaginary square in front of us. I'm going to face the corner in front of me to the right. Next, I'm going to imagine that I have a pillow behind my head. I'm going to slide it rest over that pillow without forgetting proud chest, long neck and up, chin. Sideways, draw the imaginary square in front of you, face either right or left corner in front of you and imagine that your pillow is behind your head and slightly rest over that pillow. And this is the head that we are going to use when our teachers are saying, let's do underarms combination in the bar or the center and your head on the arms. Now, how to do under that? Once again, you're going to keep that imaginary square and it doesn't matter where we do it to the right or to the left, but we are going to face the corner in front of us. We are going to imagine that we have this time a pillow in front of us and I'm going to rest slightly forward. And now my side is going to change from the diagonal right to my side. Again, don't forget about proud chest, long neck, chin up. And this is our position for on the down. Let me show you a combination in the bar so you can compare and you can recognize the difference between on the horse and on the down. Position yourself sideways to the bar, one hand on the bar, arm in second position, first position. We are going to be facing forward. Now we are going to find that imaginary corner in front of us. And imagine that your head is going to rest on a pillow slightly backwards. We are going to do Batman Tandu forward, one Batman Tandu to the side, and now we are going to change. We are going to do on the down to the back, and again to the side. And recover. For more videos like this ones, I would recommend you to click right here, check down below in the description of this video where I'm going to leave a ton of links for you on how to improve your ballet technique. In saying that, go ahead, click your next video and let me know how it goes.